don't know if you can see him. My little friend, the hummingbird, is out there. I started taking a video to unload my kiln um, about 10 minutes ago. And as I'm in here setting up the camera, I realize that this hummingbird keeps coming to the my greenhouse window. Oh, he's... I must have scared him off. Anyway. Ah, we're back. <laughs> so anyway, so I started making the video. So I got my big finger in the... Oh, my finger's in there. <laughs> so I started making the video in the hummingbird. Um, here we go. Get my finger out of the way. <laughs> uh, anyway, the hummingbird kept coming to the window and then I realized the hummingbird feeder was really low and it was getting kind of dirty. So I guess the hummingbird was like, hey, fill up my feeder. I'm hungry. So I had to stop what I was doing and um, go fill up the hummingbird feeder. <laughs> so anyway, it is, um, I'll have to keep an eye on it. Anyway, it's July 28th already. 29th? 29th, I think. Yeah, because the 31st is Saturday. Anyway, I can't believe it's already the end of July. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of videos, I guess, over the summer. I've been making a lot of stuff. I don't do a whole lot of shows over the summer, and I, you know, I went on a couple vacations. Um, I went to Cumberland. Uh, I guess that was not last week, the week before, and um, spent the week down there in the lake, and uh, I just find the water is just so peaceful. We go during the week when it's not busy because if you go on the weekends, it's it's crazy and we don't enjoy that. We're old. We like it quiet <laughs> when the water's nice and smooth and um, I don't know, it's just so peaceful. And we swim a lot during the day. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I finally have a kiln opening. And I, I have quite a few because I have a show August 7th. Um, at the West Side Marketplace in Cheviot, Ohio. Um, it's 10 to 3. It's on Harrison Avenue. And it's right there at the corner of Harrison and Glenmore. And I was supposed to bring my trailer, or I thought. And apparently I, I, they said I signed up for a 10 by 10 booth, which is fine. So I called up to switch to a, so I could bring my, my horse trailer that I renovated into my pottery trailer. And unfortunately, they don't have any electric left. So, you know, that gets kind of hot inside because it's because it's metal. And I was worried with no lights and no fan. I don't, I don't know who the heck would want to be in there. <laughs> it's be so hot. Because it's been like 90 here all week. And I, I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be for next week. But I thought, well, I'll just do the booth and then, you know, see the layout. And then next time, you know, maybe do bring the trailer. So we'll see. But anyway, um, so I have a kiln opening. I think I have some pretty cool stuff in here, some different stuff. So let's see, uh, let's see what's in here. And then I'll have another one. I'll probably have another one in a couple days. So anyway, let's see what's in. Oh, I'm gonna do one today about um, glazing these platters. So I do have some coming up. All right, let's see what's in here. I'll lower you down here a little bit. My high technology. These lids are so heavy. Whew. Jeez. Okay, so I don't know if you can see in here. Let's see, this one. Well, this turned out nice. I like that. I don't know. What do you think of that? I I tried, I started, I thought I'd do these leaves that are, this is that dark chocolate brown clay. I just, I just love the color of that. Um, and I just put like a whitewash on it. And then I put, um, well, first it's like a white underglaze. And then I put a clear zinc-free glaze over the top to make it food safe. So it is food safe. And then of course I had to put a couple little ladybugs. Some little ladybugs on the end. <clears throat> but yeah, you could put, you know, chips in there or snacks or, or just table decoration. And these are, um, <clears throat> I cut these all out free form. So I don't, you know, have a, a mold or uh, a template or anything so each one is you know a little a little different which I like I like them all I like them all a little different so that's one I think there's I think there's two more in here and, oh look at that I, I did a video on oh no 
Yeah, I did a video on, gla on glazing these a little bit. These, you know, people use these as wine mugs. You can actually use it as a little planter, but I think it's too pretty for that. Um, what you do is just put a little sand in the bottom, just drop your little plant right right down in there in the plastic container so that the the roots won't get waterlogged if there's water in there. But anyway, but a lot of people use them as wine glasses. And I like the blue, just a light blue color on the inside. She you hear that plane going over? The, the airport is right across the river from me, so when they're flying in to a certain runway, we get a, we get a ton of them. We can see the landing gear and everything. So anyway, so I think I have I think I have three of these. So <clears throat> let's get these off here. So okay, so I did more red birds. I have um, I gotta stand that off. So this is the cinnamon, this is a cinnamon red. So I wanted to, um, I don't know, do another one of these. The last time I did these, I don't know, I, I, I didn't like the, the dark color. So I replaced them. But then a couple people were saying, oh, we like the dark color. So I thought I would try one and just see how it turns out. Because it's pretty dark on the dark brown clay. Because you can see the eyes are not glazed. Um, so, so that's the dark, that's the cinnamon, and here is the red. So, you know, when you see, when you see them together, there's a pretty big difference. I think I, I don't know, this is, this is cool, I like this, but I think I like this better. Um, what do you guys think? So I've got, um, six more of these that I glazed, and they will go in the kiln, hopefully, um, hopefully like Saturday or Sunday, um, I will load the kiln again. The, the red birds have become really popular. They, um, the last show I did, they sold out in like an hour. So the, this, I made a few, um, casserole dishes. And then, so here's the lid. The bottom's down in there. Get a little closer so you can see. A little, couple of ladybugs. So yeah, it's, oh, this has got a, this is, oh man. This has got a little hairline crack up here. Whew. It doesn't go all the way through, so I think what happened was when I threw this as a bowl, okay, I think when I wired it off, there's a skim, and it left a skim of um, clay on the bottom, and that's what cracked, not the, well, not, not the whole piece. I may try to refire this, put some clear glaze in there and refire it. It's very, very small, but we'll see. It doesn't affect the use of it, but... That's a bummer. You never know. You never know with pottery. Anybody who does pottery knows that you don't fall in love with anything until it comes out of the glaze kiln. I literally have shelves over here of seconds that, you know, I, I can't. It's so hard to throw them away. <laughs> but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to get rid of them. Okay, so here's another one of those bowls. Oh gosh, these are really nice. Mm. I really like. I really like these. What do you guys think of this um, color? Like I, you know, my first instinct was to paint it green, but um, I don't know. I like the uh, the off white. It's kind of a rustic. It goes with anything, you know. When you don't have a, a real color. So yeah, I. It's all, um, I start out making these with just a sheet, just a slab of dark clay, and I just free form cutting it out. And then um, I just take, I think I use the back of a paintbrush 
to make all these textures in there. You can see all that texture. And then I just um, set it in a in a plastic dish to form. And uh, yeah, I really like that. Okay, so these, these are looks, I don't know if the, um, I used to make purse planters a long time ago. And uh, I haven't done it in so long. And I saw the other day someone else had made some, and I thought, gosh, I need to make some again. So these are, I call them purse planters. Oh, oh, that turned out so good. Oh, my God. I don't know if this video will do it justice. Um, this is an underglaze on here. I put, I put the texture on. I started out with a slab of clay. I don't really have a pattern for these either. I just cut them out by hand. Um, gosh, these are pretty. Oh, these really turn out good. Um, anyway, so I don't know. In When I first started doing pottery like 10 years ago, I made these. And I just, what I would do is fill like three inches in the bottom of sand or pebbles. Um, and then I'd put the plant at the top and put moss around it. And um, because they don't have holes in them. So you can either just set your container plant in there or put the sand in the bottom so that you don't get root rot. So if you overwater, the water goes to the bottom. It doesn't, the roots don't sit in it. But, um, but I know people have been using it for flower vases um, or utensil holders. Put it in your kitchen and, you know, put your spatulas and, and stuff in there. You can see the little, I don't know if you can see the little, the ladybug just, they're kind of hiding in the corner there. <laughs> so I have four of these. I wish I had made more, but I will next time for, um, cause my next show after, um, this one, August 7th, my next show is not till, I might, I might get into a September 7th show, but that's Labor Day weekend. But I, I am in a show, uh, the third week of September, the Vina Galette, which is a, is, is a really, really nice show. It's a, it's a three-day show. It's a big show. Um, and then I'm trying to get into another one down in Indiana, uh, the last week of September. Oh my gosh, I am in love with these. Oh, these would be hard to get rid of. Hard to sell. <laughs> hard to let go, I guess I should say. So this one has the vine, like I made it a vine handle. And this is just um, two pieces of slabs put together with the bottom. I have to sand the bottoms. You should always really try to sand the bottoms off. Um, I, never, I was never taught that when I first started doing pottery. And, you know, I sold my pieces. They were kind of rough. And then as I learned more about the pottery, um, I realized that people... Once you fire them and you sand the bottom, they get nice and smooth. So, my hummingbird's out there again looking at me. But he's going to eat now. He's happy. <laughs> so, oh, these are pretty. I really, I didn't glaze these with a clear glaze. I left them kind of rough, which I really like. I like that rustic, that rustic look. And here's another one. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Love, love, love. See the little ladybugs on there too? This one's got a rolled edge. You can see it just kind of rolled the edge down. And this one actually put a little green on the handle, which I kind of like. I wasn't sure if I'd like it, so I only did it on one. Um, and if you can see the different colors in the underglazes. Yeah, these are, these are underglazes on the front. They're not cleared over because this is not for food and it's got this nice uh soft matte texture which i really like so yeah and they're pretty pretty big durable gosh hmm. and i like how like some of the flower like the flowers don't all look the same 
have a look at this one and then see how this one kind of burnt out a little bit. So they're not, I try to add different colors because sometimes when you use underglazes, um, people use one color and I don't know, I find it kind of, kind of flat. I like when you add different colors together with the underglazes and it's, you know, multicolored and I think it just is more interesting. And then my last one, oh, this one looks good too. Oh my goodness. It's so nice when something turns out in the kiln. <laughs> Look at that. Doesn't that turn out gorgeous? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to make some more of these. Um, I think I'm scaring off my hummingbird with my voice, but it'll come back. And there's the back. And then these stamps, you see, now this one, I bought this stamp, but these I made. I just, um, you just take a chunk of clay and, you know, carve out the stamp you want. This is one I made, and this is one I made. So, oh my gosh. Really, I love these. I'm going to have to make more, or I'll just keep one for myself. Do you like the ones with the color or do you like the ones that are just the white? I kind of like them both. Um, I didn't want them to be real bright colors, which would be kind of garish, you know, so. Ouch, just hit my head on the kiln, the kiln lid. <laughs> and always rock your shelves before you pick them up because um, something, something came off there. Because if the bottom post is stuck to the shelf, it's going to fall off on the items below. Okay, so these are casual dishes here, except for this little piece. I made a little bird's nest. Yeah, turn out. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I mean, it's just kind of a trial thing. It's just a coil pot, basically, with texture. But I thought maybe putting um, maybe a bird on the rim. I didn't put it clear on here. I should probably, I don't know. I really like it though. I like how it turned out. That was kind of a test piece. A little bird nest. So here's the casserole dishes. Let's see. So, not a whole lot, really, to, I just left these white, the handles are leaves, and let's see, I think this one, I think this one fits this one, there you go, and I don't, um, I don't fire mine together, because I like to, I like to coat the inside of this lip with clear glaze because I think it keeps it cleaner because that's where your food goes and sometimes if you leave them unglazed you can get um, bacteria and food in there and I don't, I don't like that so so then I have to fire it separately and this one I, I, I glaze all the way down to the very lip but then I set it on little stilts so that um, so it doesn't stick to the kiln shelf. So there's one. See, I just have little, I just save old pieces of bisqueware, things that are broken, and set it on that. And then I'll sand the bottom down, sand it off. And then. They can warp and looks like this one. Hmm. I don't know why they warp. I mean they're just well, looks like this one warped a little bit. So hmm. The casserole dishes may not have worked out that well. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. It's really cute though. <laughs> that is bizarre why that does that. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'll do about that. 
don't know. So this one's, well, this one's got a little crack in the bottom. This is why when things turn out good, you're really happy, but when you don't, they're just, there's just so much can go wrong because you fire the kiln at almost 2200 degrees. So that turned out nice, but it has a little, it has a little tiny hairline crack on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So, oh, all that work. That's what kills you about pottery. You can put so much time and effort in it, and then, you know, it kills you when it doesn't turn out. But that's, you know, it's a minor, it doesn't affect the use of it. It doesn't go all the way through. It's just a... Okay, so this one, the, one more shelf to go. I'm going to work on uploading this one. It takes a while to upload them. It takes like an hour just to upload them to YouTube so that you can then download them. It's like my Facebook page. bowls are these little cups so I have three of these it's interesting this one's a little darker than this one and it's the same clay. Hmm. I think it depends on where it's at in the kiln and how hot it gets. But there's another one. Turned out nice. And then one more of these leaves that are brown with the white on them. Isn't that nice? Got a couple little ladybugs. This turned out really nice. I really like those too. So the casserole dish is not so much, but. And then I did a couple leaves in green with the dark. So it's got the dark bottom, but it's green inside. So these are like, you know, you can serve uh, chips and bread or whatever out of here, or you can use it as a bird bath out in your garden. Whatever you want to do. I got one more, it's a little bit smaller. And this one here. This one actually put little uh, things to hang. So you can hang it from a tree and make a bird bath. And it's brown on the bottom and and it's got the little little ladybugs on there. So yeah. That turned out nice too. So that is all I have for today. I should have another kiln opening on Monday or Tuesday of next week. And then that'll be my last one for well, I might have two next week. It just kind of depends. It just kind of depends. Um because I have a lot of pottery to glaze. Um, where I work at, Dunham, Dunham Recreation Center, um, where I teach at. Um, I made a lot of stuff there. I usually don't make that much, but this time, I don't know, it's, I ended up making a bunch of stuff. So um, I might bring that home and glaze it and fire it. It makes it simpler to do it here. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching. And um, I'm up to like a 750 something subscribers. So I'm trying to get to a thousand. <laughs> so. <laughs> So if you like my videos, please subscribe. Think about it. I don't overwhelm people with videos. Uh, I don't I don't do that many, so I'm not gonna keep bugging you. So but have a great day and um enjoy the summer. There's 
Only a couple months left and then we got snow, so enjoy it. All right, thanks, take care, bye-bye.